Good morning. Trust that your week has gone well and that you are uh, doing all right uh, and have avoided the virus uh, that's going around and that has uh, kind of inconvenienced us uh, this last week. Just wanted to give you another word of encouragement uh, this morning. Uh, kind of goes along with the sermons that we've uh, been preaching uh, Sunday and then Wednesday night. Uh, focusing on the Lord is our strength. The Lord is the one in whom we uh, can trust. And so uh, driving to the church this morning at uh, uh, the sun was coming up. It was a beautiful sunrise. I hope you saw it. Uh, the last few mornings have been uh, really uh, beautiful and uh, wonderful handiwork of the Lord. Uh, just thinking about God and how how good He is and how how great He is. And so uh, my mind went to Isaiah 26 and verse 3, uh, which says, "Thou wilt keep him in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on Thee, because he trusteth in Thee." Trust ye in the Lord forever, for in the Lord Jehovah is everlasting strength. And so as we keep our hearts and our minds upon the Lord, uh, we know that he's at work. We know he's going to do all things for our good and for his glory. And uh, it's just encouraging that we have such a mighty God in whom we can rest in. And um, he will keep our minds in perfect peace as we trust in him. And so I hope that today you will be uh, just focused on God, get into the word, fill your mind with scripture, and just uh, learn more about this great God and what he is able to do, what he has done, and what he's going to do. And we look forward to uh, just seeing God be glorified in everything. I trust you'll have a, a great weekend. Uh, again, we won't be meeting. We'll have a message posted on YouTube, on the website, and on Facebook as well. If you haven't liked our Facebook page, I encourage you to do so. Uh, and there's some uh, great inspirational quotes that are on there. And uh, we, we look forward to uh, uh, the time that we'll be able to meet again together. You have a wonderful day and look forward to seeing what God is going to do.